Hey everybody, Sean here from Board Paracord. Today we're going to do a braid from Cord Braid on Instagram. He came up with this, I believe it's from him. Um, he calls it the Life Mesh Knot. Life Mesh Knot. So the only difference that I'm going to do that he doesn't do is we're going to start out with six feet of gutted paracord. And what I mean by that is all of the inner strands Let's see if I can get it to focus here. Well, let me see how it is. All of the inner strands of this cord have been taken out. So I have about six feet of red gutted cord and then six feet of, I think this is called FS Navy. Um, the red cord is going to be the cord that we use to do our we'll call them loops. And then the FS Navy is going to be the, the piece that goes like in an S shape. And you'll see exactly what I'm talking about once we get going. The first thing we need to do though, is fuse these two cords together. And the way that we're going to do that, let me get this out of here, come down on it a little bit. Oh, that's a little too far, there we go. We're just, we're just going to melt these two pieces here and then stick them together. And remember, one of these is um, hollow, meaning there's nothing in it. And the other one has all the inner strands. So just get those two hot. Press them together like that. And then I like to roll them in my fingers while it's still a little hot, but not so hot that it burns you. And you should end up with something that looks like that. And then I've got a half inch plastic buckle. Um, we'll be using a lighter again. And I don't think we're going to need anything else other than a smoothing tool. And I don't see my smoothing tool over here, which is fine, that's okay. Um, so the first thing we're going to do is, let's see here, how do we want to do this? So we're going to just take our take our buckle here and from the top side we're just going to right right at the middle of the cord. So these are two fused. I have six feet this way, six feet this way. I'm just going to take this, fold it, and then stick it down through the buckle, just like that, and then open this loop and flip the buckle into that loop and flip the cord over. And what will happen is you'll have what's called a cow's hitch on your buckle. Now we need to get that like that. So this is actually covering our fused section so that you won't be able to see that. And that was pretty good. So that's pretty good. You actually can only see a very tiny amount of it. And that will get covered with the, with the braid anyway, or the, the weave. So now what I'm going to do is flip that over and run all this cord through my fingers so we get all these twists out of it. There we go. And one of these is a little shorter than the other it looks like by about a foot. So I've got my two ends here from the back side. We're just going to poke those up through and I might need to fuse this or melt it. And then I like to use these needle nose pliers to flatten it like that. And what that does, that makes it nice and flat, makes it really easy to go up through this buckle. That's a little tip there. I don't go over that little secret there in every video. Now I'm just pulling all this through so that we have a basic shape of a, a bracelet here, which is this shape here. Now, you're going to want to measure. So open this up. Now that you have your basic bracelet here. So you would open this up and you're going to want to measure from this little ledge here all the way up to where the, the buckle stops there. And that's going to be the length of your bracelet. So you measure your wrist and then make this to accommodate that wrist size. Now, once you've done that and you have the the length of your bracelet set. Go ahead and make it look like this. So you're going from the cow's hitch 
to the other side, the cord's coming up, and you are just going to, uh, let's see, for this first one, we're, gonna, we're just going to do a simple um, cobra weave. So all I'm doing, whoops, I did it backwards. All I'm doing here is taking a left cord, creating a loop like this, and crossing over the two center strands, and then taking my right cord, the red one, crossing it over that left cord, take it around the back, and through the loop. And what that does for me is this will allow me to lock this on the buckle so that we don't have to worry about it moving. So just like that. Now, what's going to happen here is we are going to use the blue cord. It's just going to go back and forth all the way down this whole bracelet. That's all that this one's doing all the way down. But we're just going to do one step at a time, of course. So we're going to do this across here. And we're going to, let's see, I think we need to take our, yep, our, our red cord, which is our gutted cord, is going to come around the back. And you're going to create, so I haven't done this yet. I've only watched a video on how to do it. So I think I've got it memorized. But with your non-gutted cord or your cord on the right, you're going to create a loop. Okay, so we'll do that first. This is a learning experience for both of us. Now your red cord is going to go around the back. You're going to create a loop of cord. And that loop of cord is going to go up inside of the loop on the right. And then it's going to cross uh, let's see, am I doing this right? Let's see. We're just going to check. Okay, so then you bring it back to the left, and then it goes through itself, I believe. We're going to find out here in a second. And then it tightens down so that you have something that looks like this. Okay, yeah, so that's right. Now, it's not going to make a whole lot of sense right now because I didn't know what I was doing. <laughs> so, we're going to we're going to keep on going, but you're going to use the same method as we go. So, you want that red to kind of poke through this this piece right here. It's kind of far away, isn't it? Okay. So, now that we have that, what we're going to do is the blue cord's going to go underneath of this cord that's coming off to the right. So we are going to create that loop underneath of the red cord here, and it's going to come off to the left side, so you'll have a loop here. Now you're going to take your red cord, and it's going to go around the back and behind everything, and you're going to create another loop up through this loop, so just like this. Once you do that, then your red cord comes back across the middle through that loop and you're going to cinch this down. So basically you have the cord coming out this side creating a loop and then the other cord, I mean the main end of your cord goes through that loop and you just cinch that down. So what you need to do is you need to get rid of all this slack here so you're going to grab your red loop here, pull straight up on it, and then pull so you have something that looks like that. Just like that. And then you go on to the next one. So loop. Off, whoa, was I off camera for the whole thing? Hopefully not. Make sure that's nice and tight. And you've got your loop on the right. Reach around the back. Poke a loop up through there. 
just like that. So now you have that loop. And you can tighten your blue around that a little bit, just like that. So now you just have a red loop over here. Now you take the working end from the left side and you run it through the loop. Pull all that extra cord through. And make sure it's straight across, just like that. And you want to make sure that you don't get a twist in your cord like I did there. So where it comes out, we're just going to, I'm going to have to flip this. Just a little. There we go. Make sure we get that nice and flat. Pull up on your, your loop here to get rid of the slack here. So there's a little bit of slack back here. So the way you get rid of that is you just pull on your loop here. And then you can kind of cinch that tight. So you'll have something that looks like that. And that's what we're working on. So now we just go to the next step here, which is the same as before. Create the loop. And from the back side, poke a loop up through that blue loop. Just like that. And then take your cord through that red loop. So pretty easy. Nothing crazy. And pull all your slack through. And cinch it up. I like to hold everything with my, my thumb. So the blue one, we're just going to like lay right there in between them. Pull up on the red to get rid of all your slack. You don't want to pull too much or this will end up getting pulled back around to the other side and then pull it tight. And just kind of position everything. You want to make sure that your S, like imagine there's like an, a line that just kind of draw a line all the way down so that your last blue loop matches the one before it and kind of do the same thing with the other side so that it looks nice and uniform as you go. So there's that. Now, we're going to create another loop. So that's that's basically all there is to it. This one has a couple extra steps, maybe more than what you're used to, but I challenge you to do it. Um, this one's not too bad at all, really. So I created, created a loop with the blue, poked the red loop up through there, and then the working end through there. Pull through. Try to work the all that did not go exactly as planned. There we go. All right, and then when you get to this point, what you're going to do is to get rid of the slack on the back. Just pull straight up on that red loop. Try not to pull it so far that it pulls it around the back side of the bracelet, and then pull that through. We got a little bit of slack left. There we go. I think I got it that time. And we'll do we'll do one more, just just so we can make sure that you know what you're doing here. Um, and I suppose you could have started with one of these uh, weaves instead of the uh, cobra at the beginning, but now that I'm looking at it, you really don't even notice that it's different. So we'll do one more, and then I'll let you. Uh, do these on your own because I think that's enough instruction for this. So a loop inside of a loop, just like that. <laughs> Easier said than done. I bet this would be really easy on a jig. So I'm going to throw a jig in the description because I just don't use jigs. I usually can handle these in my hand, but this one is starting to become a little more than I'm used to. All right, so there's that. So we have the loop sticking up through the blue loop. Now the loop is coming from the back side around everything, and then the loop is getting pushed up through the blue loop. There we go. 
like that and pull it nice and snug. And we're getting there. So I'm going to go ahead, cut from here, finish this up, and then I'll show you how we're going to finish this. Okay, so I am down here at the bottom, and we have to figure out how the heck we're going to finish this. So you can see it's pretty well finished. Um, looks pretty cool. Back of it looks pretty cool. But I, I went with the gutted cord because I, I wanted it to be thinner. Um, and if you don't use gutted cord, just know that this is going to be a thicker bracelet. Um, and the way that I want to finish this, I think, and I'm not real sure yet, is I want to take the red cord and bring it up through the center. So what I mean by that is from the back side, I bring the red one up through the center here, and then we'll take this blue one down, well, I think I actually might take the blue one through this piece of red here and finish it up here. That way it doesn't throw off the pattern. But the red one I think I want to bring up through the center here. So I'm going to cut this a little short. And I did have to add more red to this. Um, so beware of that. I'm going to make sure this lighter has some... Okay, yep, we're good there. Um, I added another six feet to this. So, of the red, the gutted cord. So beware of that. And let me grab a fid. Get this fit on here. Just like that. It should be good. And then from the back side, I'm just going up through the middle cords. There we go. I didn't want to poke through the actual cord. There we go. Alright, so pull that through. And then we're going to cut that right there. And finish that. So you can see it's coming through there nicely. So let's go ahead. And this is a very tedious bracelet. I did not see that coming. Um, usually I can tell by uh, just looking at it whether or not this is going to be a tedious one or not. I don't know where my smoothing tool is, so I'm just going to use this fid to smash that in there. Tighten that blue up. And then we're going to use another fid to take the blue cord. So let's we'll cut that there. Melt this slightly. Um, but yeah, this, this was a little more tedious than I thought it would be. Um, so yeah, if you want to do something that's going to take a little bit of time, maybe a little frustrating at first, this would be the one. Alright, so you can see we have the blue coming out here. We're going to cross over where we pulled the red through and go through this loop here. And make sure that this cord stays above. And we'll cover that red. And <laughs> of course the phone starts ringing. I'm going to cut the blue here. I think that's the first time the phones ring during a video. And I'll use the lighter to smash that in there. Just like that. And that's it. This bracelet is done. Turned out pretty good. It's not my favorite. Um, but it is a, a little challenging. And uh, if you just stick to the basics on this, just work it a little bit at a time, you'll end up with something like this. Um, it's very flexible. It's a very flexible bracelet. Let me zoom out just a little here. There we go. Um, I probably made this a lot bigger than I needed to. This, this is a pretty... Well, I guess that would probably fit my wrist. Maybe. Maybe it's a little too big. Um, turned out pretty cool. Uh... I hope you like this. Everything that you see in this video, I'll have in the description. But please uh, check out our website, boardparacord.com, for all of your paracord needs. And facebook.com slash groups slash paracord on. That's where I'm usually hanging out in every day, uh, checking out everything you guys like to post. So until next time, paracord on. Do me a quick favor and hit that subscribe button to your left. 
There's other great videos all the time, and there's a few to the right side of the screen, and you can also buy Paracord at our site with the link at the bottom left. Thank you again for watching.